So today we're going to start a two or three part series where we're roaming through Utah, checking out the big five, uh, the five national parks. Currently I'm in Arches National Park outside of Moab. It's absolutely beautiful here, but the weather is just out of control. Uh, we actually hit some snow on the way over here. It was supposed to be 60. It started raining. It got really cold, really gloomy. Then it started hailing. Then there was like some slush on the road. Uh, and shortly after that, it started snowing and it was coming down like crazy. Uh, luckily, we were only about five miles from the next gas station. We pulled over, waited for it to pass, got a little hot coffee and warmed up. That was about maybe about two hours ago. Now we're in Arches. Uh, I have been here before, so I didn't feel the need to really go on any hikes or anything because, well, I'm running a little bit behind because that's actually the second third time we've been slowed down because of snow on this trip. Uh, we get snowed in uh, in Cortez, Colorado. We couldn't leave for a few days. Um, so anyways, we're going to roam through, um, check out a little bit of arches on the bike, uh, and then head over to Canyonlands. I'm hoping to spend a little bit more time over there. Um, really enjoy that view because I haven't spent so much time in that national park. Uh, anyways, stick around. short little ride through arches. Uh, I was gonna just ride the whole road in and out uh, and then it started raining on me and I thought well you know there's enough rain to be had elsewhere I don't want to be greedy with it so so I turned around and I kind of bailed on that. I have been in here before like I said um, and we're running way behind schedule because of the snow so we're heading over to arches uh, I cut this one short for the sake of having a little more time in arches. Oh, speaking of rain, it looks like we're gonna get a little more on the way over there. Uh, I was deceived by the blue sky over on this side. <laughs> uh, oh well. At least it's not cold. Not as cold as it's been. I mean, the ride over here from Cortez, it was anywhere from 30 to 42 degrees and wet and damp and just gloomy and cold and I don't know I love this area I think the moody sky uh, the ominous clouds they really suit the Utah landscape quite well uh, it, it makes it, the whole scene far more dramatic so it's it's cool. I like it. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of rain or 
even a little bit of snow. Not a fan of black ice though. It's just like another world here. Well, I made it, and I found some blue sky and a clear view of what is called the Grand View in Canyonlands. It is, it's pretty wild. Uh, yeah, I don't know, the Grand Canyon's got nothing on this place. Although, Grand Canyon's pretty beautiful too, but this place is something to see. Nice twisty road in here. I did. Ran into some hail, I think. Maybe some snow. And I felt the back end of the bike start sliding out. My, my visor was fogging up. I was having some visibility issues. I felt the back end start to kick out around one of the turns and just popped my visor up and realized it was covered in sleet and chunks of ice. <laughs> uh, so that was a little, little sketchy. <laughs> but, uh, totally worth it. I mean, this is spectacular. It's hard to even comprehend what you're, what you're looking at here. Uh, it's really quite phenomenal. Uh, totally worth, worth the ride out here. And, and it's a nice twisty road. So if you had some good weather, it's, it's probably a great road. Uh, probably a lot of fun. Uh, I was trying not to lean too much, so I didn't have as much fun as I might have otherwise had. Yeah, it looks like I rode clear through that storm, so I'm on the other side of it. I might give it a few minutes to kind of blow in front of me and just stay behind it on the way out. And just kind of enjoy this view for a little bit. This is quite, quite a scene. So that's it for today. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. That way you don't miss anything whenever I post something new about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.